Hey guys, welcome to day four of the 30 day book promotion challenge. Today we're going to talk about the three must have pages on your author website. So we're going to talk about your about me page. We can also talk about your, your store page or your books page. And finally, we're going to talk about your contact me page. These are the minimum number of pages that you absolutely must have on your author page to make sure that when readers reach out to your page, they can actually see uh, the information they need to see. In other words, information about you, information about your books, and how to reach out to you. The About Me page is important because it allows potential readers and your fans to go to one place where they can learn about who you are and a little bit more about your background. The Books page, the Stores page, is a page where you can showcase all your works so all your books and any other products that you may feel are relevant to your audience could be displayed on your on your books page and finally the contact me page the contact me page obviously is important because after going through the first and second pages the about me page and the books page if they want to contact you for let's say a, a speaking engagement or a book signing they know where to go so these are the three pages that you absolutely must have Let's dive right in. I'm going to show you a few examples of what other authors have done with their websites. So here is my author page. And on my page, I have the basic three recommended pages and some additional pages. Now here you can see this is my about me page. I chose to just tell a brief story about myself and who I am, a little bit more about my background. And so it's very very simple very straightforward and as you can see the text is big so the reader wouldn't have any issues reading it you don't want them to be squinting their eyes when they're trying to read the page and i also have a a stores page set up you can call it books as well okay and this is my stores page which is where i have my books listed so it lists all my my books including some work in progress books on your books page you want to make sure to list all of your books including your work in progress books the reason you want to do this is that if a reader is interested in more than just your published books let's say they are interested in also a work in progress that you have they may want to get on a waiting list or pre-order the book so it's important to list that so that they see everything that you're working on so on my page you will see that i have a couple books that may not be out yet but they're listed on the page and make sure to include a buy button if you're redire redirecting them to Amazon that's fine but at least make sure you include a buy button so they can purchase the book right off of your your website finally the other page you need to include as I mentioned is the contact me page after a reader has gone through your about me page your stores page or your books page they may want to contact you so make it easy on them to reach out to you Nowadays, a lot of the readers would have some type of social media account. So you want to prominently display social media links. Here, for example, I have my my like page link. You can click on this and like my page. And I have my Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Google Plus links as well. Now, these are the minimum pages you need to have on your website. Let's look at what other authors have done for their pages. If you look at Kate DiCamillo's page, she has a books page here if you can see a books link and she has it broken down into categories and picture books early chapter books and novels so if you click on novels the page displays all of her books with an option to click and check out the book details so if you click on win dixie you see here that she has a, a brief description on the book and uh, i would like to actually see this bigger the text is a little too small you want to make it easy on the reader okay and she has also if you scroll back down she has a speaking link where you can certainly contact her so if you go to her speaking links page and then you and then you also have a for the press page so she added more pages than just the basic three pages that are recommended if we go and look at Jane Friedman's page so Jane has, as you can see here, her About Jane right here, very prominently displayed. She has a Work with Jane link, which we will click on.
and here as you can see on the page she has some options on what you can do if you work with her but also what I mentioned she has a books link so on her books page she displays her books okay with a little more information that you can look at and again she has some buy at Amazon buttons which is something that you absolutely make want to make sure to include on your on your store page on your books page and if you can also include some resources and it looks like she has some resources for authors but at least make sure that you have the books page a way for people to contact you and if you can a an about me page as well which is about Jane so these are the main pages that are absolutely needed for you as an author to have you want to make it easier for people to see your books know a little more about you and a way for them to contact you so those are the three main pages your challenge for today is to go to your website and make sure that you have these three core pages about me books or store and finally contact me those are the three minimum pages that you should have if you already have these pages make sure you tweak them to include all the elements that we talked about so if you have a books page make sure that you have a very visible buy now button whether it's buying through you or through your publisher or through Amazon and on your contact page make it easier so people can actually either see an email or some type of social media link where they can reach out to you that's it for today join me tomorrow for another tip until then thank you for watching